Hi everyone, welcome to Turner Classic Movies. I'm Ben Mankiewicz. This is the penultimate night of this year's 31 Days of Oscar on TCM. For 30 days and 29 nights, we've been presenting nothing but Oscar-nominated and winning movies. Every night, we've had double features connecting two movies in some intriguing way, maybe an actor or director, maybe by theme, genre, or plot point, perhaps by Oscar category. Tonight, two gender-bending Oscar winners from 1982, each one earning a nomination for its leading actor, Dustin Hoffman in the first, Julie Andrews in the second, and we'll have Victor Victoria in a few hours. But first, from Columbia in 1982, directed by Sidney Pollack, this is Tootsie. It's the story of Michael Dorsey, an out-of-work New York actor. So what does he do? He makes the only decision he could possibly make and disguises himself as a woman so he can land a part on a daytime soap opera. The comedy in Tootsie is perfect. The American Film Institute named it the second funniest movie of all time, just behind another film with a similar premise, Some Like It Hot. The AFI has always had a soft spot for men dressed as women. Tootsie didn't come to its success easily at all. It took years to make with three different directors, including Hal Ashby, who shot a wardrobe and makeup screening with Dustin Hoffman, plus seven different screenwriters attached to the project at one point or another. But the pre-production headaches were well worth the effort. Tootsie became a huge box office hit, earning 10 Oscar nominations, and the Academy has traditionally failed to shower comedies with nearly enough praise. Dustin Hoffman earned his fifth nomination for Best Actor, while Jessica Lange won for Best Supporting Actress. From 1982, directed by Sidney Pollack, also with Terry Garr, Bill Murray, and Charles Durning, Tootsie. Although a version of Tootsie had been floating around as a play since the early 1970s, Dustin Hoffman's role in Kramer vs. Kramer actually planted the seed of Tootsie in his brain. His character in Kramer vs. Kramer learns to be both father and mother to his child, and that made Hoffman start thinking about making a movie with a man masquerading as a woman. He was offered the project and given a screenplay to read, but another two years of development followed. Several writers were involved, each getting their own pass on the script. When it came time to award a screen credit, the Writers Guild had to get involved. Three were ultimately given credit, Maury Shiskel and Larry Gelbart for screenplay, Don McGuire for story. They all shared the Best Original Screenplay Oscar nomination. Among the other writers who didn't make the final cut, Elaine May and Barry Levinson. Up next, another comedy, also from 1982, as tonight's gender-bending double feature continues, this time with Julie Andrews.